All right, guys. Welcome back. What we're tying today is a Palomino midge. Um, this fly right here can be tied on a 14 through an 18. Uh, this is usually tied on a little bit lighter wire. Uh, what I'm using today is a Daiichi 1130 curved hook. Um, materials that we'll be using today is we'll be using some light brown vernal chenille. It's a little bit tougher than that regular chenille that you'll be using. And we use a little bit of parapost, but we won't be using it to post anything. We're going to use this for the wing case. And then we're going to come in with a little bit of peacock. We're going to use these peacock hurls on the side for the thorax. The thread that we'll be using today is a, a uni thread in 80 black. So we're going to come in and get started. A couple of guys to the back. Almost lost it there. Break that off, snip it, run almost even to the hook point there. Uh, at this point, we're going to come in uh, with our vernil. What I like to do, uh, an original pattern actually calls for it too, is to come in with a lotter and just give it a little quick right there. And then you want to taper that point down. That's all you're doing is just putting a little taper on it. Then we're going to come in, tie this on the top. Uh, nice little rule of thumb. I like to gauge it around the hook bin, and that's where I'll get my tie-in point. Pinching loop, pulling toward yourself like always. Tie up through the thorax. Tie back down one more time. Oh, come in and clean that piece out. Right there. Make a nice little body. We're going to come in with our pair post that's been brushed out. As you can see, it should be tight like this, but it's been brushed out. We'll come in, catch it in on the top, nice pinching loop. That time of year where you got to keep a lotion on your hands if you're fly tire. You just tear the thread, all the pieces, all this real fine stuff will get tangled up on your hands. Oh well, just gotta deal with it. Come in, trim that out. Then we're gonna work our way back again to where we got that pair post tied in. What I like to do when I'm gonna be tying peacock curl, when you get closer to the top of the peacock eye, these strands, they get just a little bit uh, more fragile. I'm going to pull those out, flip them over, trim the butt ends off, come in, tie them in on the side, facing myself, wrap to the front, and this is where uh, you want to protect this peacock. This peacock, it's real uh, easy to break, especially in the, in the teeth of a fish. They will just destroy these things. I keep uh, extra sewing needles and stuff on my fly tine bench so I can run it down in that super glue like that. Don't have to worry about it getting out of the way. I'll put a nice little uh, base of super glue in right there. And what it'll do is it'll lock those peacock curls in and help them stay protected a little bit. Nice touch and turns all the way through the front. Come in, catch it, pull them back. Clean that up a little bit. and snap them off. Now with this piece, your wing case, you wanna make sure it's good and wide. So you wanna flatten that out. Tie it right in on the top. Take a couple wraps at the front, on the top again. Now with these, these are gonna simulate your gills of the pupa on its way to the surface. Um, so you don't want them to be all crazy out here like this. What you're going to do is come back. I trim them off just about where I tied them in to the thorax. And that'll let them ride forward like that. I'm going to come in, get my thread a quick counter or a correction, a clockwise spin, a couple whips, tie it off, come in, snip it out. 
finish everything up with a little drop of head cement right there on those thread wraps to keep them protected. That's all it takes, just a little bit. Come in, hit it with that UV light, and that right there is a Palomino midge. Um, it's one of the midges that I do fish heavily, uh, especially on uh, smaller streams. The fish just, they go crazy. They tear them up. Um, tie you up some. Hopefully they're as productive for you as they are for me. If you've got any questions or comments, just uh, leave them in the comment box below. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm going to start leaving a description, or in the description I'm going to leave a list of all the materials that I used and uh, a link to get to them. And until next time, uh, stay after it, keep perfecting your craft, and tight lines.